Hi, I'm Becca from My Crazy Good Life. I blog about healthy recipes, nutrition, and a few diet specific topics. And so one of the diet specific topics that I write about is the 21 day fix. And I have so many readers ask how to calculate containers. And it seems like when I write it down and when I explain it to them, um, like on Facebook or in a blog comment, it's still really confusing for people. And I've had a lot of requests to do a video on how exactly to count containers for a recipe that's mixed. So we're not talking about, you know, I'm going to have some grilled chicken breast and I'm going to have some broccoli and I'm going to have some brown rice. We know exactly how to count those. We're talking about a recipe where everything's dumped together and mixed up and then you're taking spoonfuls out for your serving. And so right now we're going to make my goulash recipe. Goulash is um, ground meat, vegetables, and pasta along with some um, tomato sauce all mixed together. And it's one of my most popular recipes and it's one of our favorite recipes in our house. And so I'm just going to walk you through exactly how to calculate containers for this recipe. So this recipe calls for one pound of ground meat. And so I have separated them out in our containers. We have four red containers. So every pound of ground meat is about four red containers. So I'm going to go ahead and write this down. We have four reds. I'm just going to line it up over here. Greens. We have three and a half green containers in this recipe. So there's one cup of zucchini, one cup of bell peppers, and then about a cup and a half of diced tomatoes. Um, just a quick note that when you fill up your containers, you should be able to close a lid on them. You can jam everything in there and close the lid in it, that's fine, but you have to be able to close the lid. And so knowing that you can close the lid is helpful to make sure that you're not overeating and that you're getting the portion. So the, whole, the fix is about portion control. And so if you're gonna control your portions, you need to be able to put things in the container with the lid on, even the green container, even though it's veggies. Um, okay, so three and a half green containers. And then we have two yellow containers, so they're a half cup each, and they have pasta in them. The thing with pasta is that it grows. So one cup of uncooked pasta, in this case, every pasta is a little bit different. So um, if you see a pasta recipe for the fix, you should use and you should know that the containers have been calculated based on what kind of pasta is used. So this, the elbow pasta, um, triples in size. So we're going to get one cup of dry pasta. That's going to be three cups of cooked pasta. So we're going to have six yellow containers of cooked pasta. But we're not going to know, we're not going to pull all that out to measure it. We just know um, there's calculators online and then I've actually done a ton of different pastas where I just cook the dry pasta and then I measure it I measure it dry and measure it cooked. So you're not going to pull anything out. You're not pulling out the noodles for a recipe. You're, you're just going to take a big spoonful. You're going to know exactly how much to eat. This recipe is one and a quarter cups as your serving size. So in one and a quarter cups, you're going to have these containers figured out for you. Um, so those are our containers. So I'm going to go ahead and stick them all in here. And then while this is cooking, I'm going to show you exactly how we figured that out. So this is helpful for if you're making chili. A lot of people have said that they love to make chili, but they don't know how to count it. Um, any kind of mixed recipe like that. You could eat like spaghetti and meatballs or um, anything that you cook for your family. Any kind of a stew or a, like a crock pot, you know, a pot roast with a bunch of vegetables in it. This works for all of those recipes. So we're going to take four red containers and we're going to dump them in. We're gonna take three and a half, so this is my half, three and a half green containers and dump them in. But before I, um, before I dump in this last half, I want to, there's also onions in here. And so this container is, um, it's gonna be a little bit troublesome and you'll see where it's kind of annoying to have it um, not all the way full, but the onions that I have are gonna add a little bit to this. So it'll be very close to a full container, um, but it's not, so but we are, we are counting for that. And then we're going to stick our pasta and all of our spices. Spices are free, so they don't count as anything. We're just going to add them in there. My, uh, my garlic on the bottom is sticking. And 
and then water because we're cooking this in a pressure cooker so we need some water. So we're going to mix it up and then we're going to start this and then we will uh, we'll figure out how to, con how to count the containers for it. Okay, while this is cooking, I wanted to take a second and tell you about 21 Day Fix containers. So you can get them almost anywhere now. Walmart even sells them. Um, as we know, they're all they're expensive on Beachbody, but those are the official ones. You can get a ton of different ones on Amazon, but you have to watch out because they're not all the same size and they're not all the same colors. So I've actually seen many of my readers say, you know, I've been doing this for you know two rounds and I haven't lost any weight. And when we look at the containers, they're using the wrong ones. And so really quick, I wanted to go through what the containers are and where, what you're looking for when you buy them. Um, like I said, Walmart has a really great one. They have a, um, where you get two sets of containers for like $8. So that right there is your best deal. And they're all, we, we measured them all. Um, they're all the right sizes. So your purple containers for fruit and you're going to be um, filling this, it's a cup. So you're gonna be filling this up with your fruit. Um, green container is for vegetables. This is one cup. Red container is for your proteins and this is three quarters of a cup. Your yellow container is for carbs and health, like healthy carbs, um, and this is a half cup. Your blue container is one third of a cup, and it's for your um, nuts and avocado and cheeses. And then the orange container is for seeds and dressings and coconut, and that one is two tablespoons. So make sure that when you are buying them that you have the correct colors on the correct measurements to make sure that you're actually doing the fix and you're getting the appropriate amount of um, containers and the appropriate amount of food every day. This recipe makes six servings. And so we are going to divide all of these by six. Four reds divided by six servings equals two thirds red container. And remember, actually, let's stick this over here. three and a half green containers. So that's where it's just, it's kind of annoying to do it. And so I will literally pull open my calculator and do 3.5 divided by six. So it's 0.58. Um, I round, so sometimes these are not gonna be perfect and that's okay. Um, I round that and I say it's gonna be about a half. So half green container. And then six yellow containers, that one's super easy. That means there's one yellow per serving. Now, one of the things that we're gonna do is we are going to, when this is done, we're gonna measure it. So this is what a lot of recipe creators do so that we know exactly what kind of a serving size to give you. The absolute best way to do this is, um, is for you to measure out the recipe before you eat it. But I know a lot of people, they don't wanna do that, they won't do that, they just wanna be able to make something and then serve it to their family and know exactly. So some of the older recipes before we all started measuring out how much our recipe made, some of the older recipes will say six servings, but it doesn't tell you how much. So sometimes, um, you know, in a pinch we'll guess at that, we always try to remake those recipes again to be able to measure those. Um, this one I know because I've measured it in the past is one and one quarter cup serving. So I had taken the, the whole batch and I had divided it out into six containers and each container was one and one quarter cup. And I know that one and one quarter cup is gonna be two third red, half green, and one yellow. So here's, the everybody has the, the question, you know, what if, you grab a spoonful that has extra pasta in it? Or what if you grab a spoonful that has mostly veggies in it? You know, you do what you can do, period. You, you, this is not perfect. This is really, really close. This is not perfect, and that's okay. So don't obsess about getting every single noodle counted for and making sure that there's, you know, 15 noodles in everybody's bowl. That's not what this is about. This is about making this work for your life, dumping everything in, and understanding how to add those containers together, and then separate them out to get your container count per serving. 
So the goulash is done cooking. I release the pressure and we can go ahead and portion it out right now. So we are going to um, give it a good stir to make sure everything is distributed evenly. Like I said, this is not perfection. We're just, we're stirring it. We're gonna scoop out and we're gonna, we're gonna go with it. So it's one and a quarter cup is the servings. There we go. So one and a quarter cup is um, the recipe divided by six. And so like I said earlier, for the absolute best and most correct container count, I would highly recommend taking the entire batch of whatever you cooked, measuring it out into equal portions of however many servings you want. This is also another way to change the serving size if you want to, but um, we'll get into that another time. So this is the best way, especially if you change the pasta, if you use gluten-free pasta, if you use a different type of pasta, measure the entire recipe, divide into six. Um, for this one, it is one and a quarter cups. And um, there's your bowl, there's your serving. For more great healthy recipes that have 21 day fix container accounts, head to mycrazygoodlife.com and click on the 21 day fix button.